Phenomenal fresh start, everyone. Let's wait for a few folk to get up in here. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. You don't want to pull up on me? Well, just pull up on me. <laughs> pull up on me. So, y'all, it's been a whole lot going on. Welcome to episode two of Coffee Cup Recaps. I am your host, Hennessy. A.K.A. Hennessy. It's your girl, Hennessy. All right, y'all. So first, we're going to start off with some circus acts. And by circus acts, y'all know that I mean the one and only Carlissa, A.K.A. Carzilla, A.K.A. Wiggy Houston, A.K.A. a lot of A.K.A.'s. Child, Child, Blueface needs to come out here and get his mama. Hey, yo, hey, Miss Beaches. <laughs> Card said it's too early. Girl, Friday after next, it came out when? And you wasn't even dancing like that in Friday After Next. This is light. We just starting up. We just starting up. We just getting started. We starting light today. Because somebody said yesteryear ago. <laughs> I heard they're coming out with a new Friday movie though. Not trying to revive her stalled career. Praying for Central Florida, folks. I'm in Orlando praying. Yes, pray for those who are in Florida because from what I understand, it is a Category 6 hurricane. Okay, so pause for, for a minute. It is a Category 6 from what I understand. That was what I last saw. Um, hurricane headed for Central Florida. I know yesterday I did check on Mama Henny. Mama Henny said it was going up the West Coast, so she's good. She's not on that side. She's in Southeast. So, but I know last night it was a whole thing. You know, it was. It was. I was nervous a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. But until my mama panic, I don't panic. But yes, because these hurricanes have been very devastating, and I do feel like they're man made. Harp is real, okay? If you don't know what Harp is, go go do a quick little search. I don't know if you want to look on Google or go to DuckDuckGo or um, News Now saying it's a Cat 4, okay? But either way, these hurricanes have been ripping through and tearing people's lives to shreds in the blink of an eye. I DM'd you. I was worried about your mom. Thank you. Yeah, she's okay. If she doesn't panic, I'm not going to panic. Well, that's a lie, because if I see something bad is happening, I'm going to panic. My anxiety will tweak. Um, okay, uh, you mentioned the video last night. We're going to talk about that a little bit, because people been working my nerve. Let me start again. I heard that they're supposed to be coming out with another Friday movie. So I'm thinking that this is her taking a shot at being recapped. But girl, you ain't even have a speaking role in the Friday version that you was in. You was just dancing on a dance floor. You was a party goer. So are you trying to get a speaking role? My vote is for her to be Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Let me borrow your VCR. I want a double video. It's the max. <laughs> that will be the new version of Felicia. <laughs> not to be concerned not to be confused with our felicia okay our felicia felicia is not the felicia we're talking about in case you don't know cube and epps definitely ain't thinking about her yes i agree right she was just an extra wait what is what us felicia do us felicia didn't do nothing i ain't talking about our felicia felicia i'm talking about felicia and friday 
<laughs> now, I heard Felicia wasn't a crackhead in Friday. Is that true? I thought she was a crackhead. I don't know. But let's continue. Carlissa was shooting her shot. I mean, she clout sprinting her old earth to Zeus. Girl. I'll take a hit of my bait on that one. Mm. Child. But you know, Carlissa's antics, they don't stop. And Carletta let us know that no matter what we say, no matter what we do, she ain't going to stop and she ain't going to shut up. And Carlissa definitely let us know that in her video. And I've got a couple, two, three things to say about I was this. mad I couldn't cuss him out on FaceTime because my homeboy at work up at that jail said he was already doing some... Never mind. He was acting freaky on the FaceTime and lost the FaceTime privileges already. Else I would have cussed his... Out. But anyway, back to what we came here to do for y'all. This ain't about blue face. All right, Everything sorry. is always about blue face. This ain't about blue face, but yeah, I've seen it, girl. I've seen him follow everybody but me and his pappy. Oh, I smell it. But anyways, on to the next thing. By the time he get out of jail, I'm gonna have more followers than him. So y'all go share my page. Y'all all go share my um my real page and tell everybody, all y'all friends, y'all grandma, y'all auntie, y'all cousins to follow me so I can have more followers than him by the time he get out of jail. That's how we gonna play him. Everybody go tell their uncles, their aunties to follow my um my Instagram page because I'm gonna have more followers than him when he get out of jail. But anyway, and somebody sent me that video of him saying, my mom's getting famous and I hate it. Like a little brat. Child. <clears throat> First of all, a couple of things. Couple, two, three things. All right. Number one, why are you talking about FaceTime freak offs in front of Carter? Now, she know anytime she go live, Carter going to be peeking over her shoulder. That's number one. Number two, why are you putting his business out there? Number three, it's not FaceTime. It's a video chat. And I'm questioning the video chat. Because when they video visit with you, that's because that's what it's really called. It's not a video chat. It's a video visit. When they video visit with you, they're not in a private room doing so. They're usually in a day room. Or someplace off to the side where they still out in public. So I'm sorry. Are you trying to call him an actual deviant that he would just whip out the eggplant in front of everybody and be face time freaking off? But then, but then I question because did he learn that from WAC 100? Because you know WAC 100 be face time. <laughs> uh -uh. Then it's like she's just so happy. I don't. Did she talk to him? Because that's what it's implying that she talked to him. Did he talk to his mama? But why you ain't go up there to go visit him is what I want to know. Because Papa Blue, Papa Blue went up there to go visit him. But I do have the video. Then she says she's not going to talk about Blue, but then proceeds to talk about Blue. Then says anywho, like she's changing the subject and keep talking about Blue. I'm glad she talking about Blue for once. She said he done followed everybody except for her and his pappy. Well, first of all, we're not going to make a big deal out of that because I'm going to tell you what my take on it is. Krishan getting some traction. Jaden's starting to get a little bit of traction. He ain't getting no traction. So now he got to cause some traction. And the cause of the traction is supposed to be that the headline, Blue unfollows Krishan to follow Jaden. No, we're not going to put you in the algorithm with her right now. Not over here. We're, we're not going to do that. You switched up your following. Okay, next. Show us a new trick, magic man. Because we've seen this already. We've seen this a million and one times. 
did Jaden give you her baddies check is and, and put it on your books? Like, we already know that Bobo is the one that's doing your your following and unfollowing and posting and unposting. Like, we know who's taking care of your Instagram. Okay, we know that. And we don't even know, honestly, if Bobo was the one, if he told him to do it or if he did it on his own. Because when he unfollowed Krishan for that 24 hours, I don't think he knew that because it was switched automatically right back. So, I do believe that Bobo be going rogue. He's out there on the road being a bad little, and he snipped like a Barbie. Okay, he's a baddie now. He's out there trying to get a job with Zeus being security. Mm -hmm. He sees Krishan is out and shining. She's reached Timberland, Monica, and millions of others. He wants in on the algorithm. He didn't know the first time he did it. Exactly. That's what I believe. I know some people believe that he put that out there and he was part of the setup that happened. I do not believe that he was part of the setup that happened. I don't. And the way that everybody has been moving lately, I don't believe that, uh, you know, he was talking to people after that happened, neither. It's getting old. He ain't learned yet. Why focus on following when his merch music ain't doing... Come on, peaches. Ain't nobody promoting his merch. Not even his psycho girl, Bonnie. I don't know why I mentioned her name, but I'm just saying the fatal attraction has not even been promoting like that. OK, so, yes, Batty Bobo. I think that's what we're going to call him from now on. Thanks, girl. That's the new nickname, Batty Bobo. He's been a big back baddie. <laughs> Bobo the baddie. <laughs> OK. I can't get in trouble because I'm going to need this page to keep doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> then Jay made sure to post that she likes girls after the follow. Did y'all peep that though? Clock it. Clock it. But then she turned around and said she everybody typed. Now child, I don't got the picture on this phone. But we all seen the, 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 the lip was looking a little twisted. Now, some people are thinking that it's because she got bopped in the lip while she over there on baddies. And other people are saying that it could be a cold sore on her lip because, you know, they come out when you're stressed. So people are thinking it could be a cold sore. Others are saying, you know, she got lip injections. I know I was saying she gets lip injections. But then, you know, the fact that one side is bigger than the other child, I don't know. All right. And we heard that she had a fight with Roly. I wonder how that worked out. I wonder how that worked out. I'm I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to watch to be nosy. Because I want to see what's going on. Me nosy. Listen, one thing that everybody needs to admit, whether they want to or not, is that we're watching all of them. We're watching all of them. Even when we say we don't want to know, we watching all of them. And I done seen some of y'all over there on Bonnet's page liking her stuff in the likes when I'm scrolling. I'll be like, Urgh. I just be minding my business scrolling. I'll be like, oh, God, what does she do now? Wait a minute. Oh, I know you. You over here liking it, but you one of the ones that be telling me that post is crazy. We all love a good show. And this is a show that everybody watches. Whether you like them, love them, hate them. You're watching. Y'all all up in the phone like this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Y'all all up in the phone like this. What are they doing? What she said. Oh, I know I didn't see that. Oh, the nerve. Oh, hell no. We all in there like that. We all in there like that, no matter who's your fave, okay? I think this time it was him because his contact info was given out. Mm. Possibly. Possibly. 
Um, I would find the following insulting if I was her. I don't don't follow me. <laughs> if you're mad at a, don't follow me if you mad at another girl while asking for randoms to message you. Right. What you said about the lip? It looks like a busted lip to me. It has a split. I I didn't see a split. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little closer. I thought I zoomed in good. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little closer because I didn't see a split. I just seen it was raw. I know it wasn't me, Miss Parker. <laughs> You see that baddies are in Chicago last night. Tifa and Jaden were sitting next to each other. Child. Somebody said cold sore splits. I don't know. They burst to be specific. Ooh, that sounds painful. Maybe her injections. I don't know. Why are y'all acting like Blue doesn't tell Bodine to unfollow Krishan and HR? Who is HR? Well, nobody's acting like he doesn't tell them what to do. But let's not be naive and act like things don't get done either that he's not aware of. You know what else I noticed? I noticed that blue Snapchat has not been working. As far as postings and stuff, nobody's posting to blue Snapchat. It's shocking. Did they run out of content for him? Is that even possible to run out of content for him? Because he's sure not getting to that Snapchat bag, yet Krishan is still going up on hers. <laughs> She's still getting her bag, though. I noticed that, too. Not one post since Krishan been out. Like, Krishan's, I like Krishan's response. Thank you, Jesus. And the picture of the butterfly. Yes. Clock it. So Bodine followed Krishan and HR on his own. Who is HR? Please tell us who HR is. Because I don't know. <laughs> I want to know. Who is HR? What's your take on Tommy's show being canceled? Who you think leaked footage? I don't think anybody leaked footage. I think they're just trying to use the fact that there was footage put out there as a reason to say that footage was leaked. I think they're upset that somebody else beat them to the punch of putting some stuff out there. If, if someone had permission from Tommy, that's Tommy's show. If Tommy said you could film, that's Tommy giving permission. Y'all didn't give an ex y'all. I didn't hear them say in that contract they had an exclusivity clause, meaning that they were the only ones that could exclusively have footage. So I think they just but heard about it. I think they meant Junior, but it's Krishan Jesus. Uh, he could have been doing weekly vlogs or something, right? He could have been doing like how Suge Knight was doing, calling home and saying some stuff, like how he, like how he was doing before. Blue face baby, yeah, I, such and such and such and such, bop, da 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 da. He could have been doing that, but hmm. Oh, Junior. Okay, I'm like, who is HR? You're driving me crazy. Who is that? Uh, yeah, Krishan Jesus. I'm sorry. NSA reviews? What you mean? Hey, girl, it's Henny. This is Straight Henny Media. NSA reviews is the other channel. <laughs> it's the other one. Um, at this point, I think we're all tired of him playing with the baby. I believe he probably got in his feelings because of the whole Ronnie mess. I don't think so. I don't think so. People trying to blame Zio. Of course they're trying to blame Zio. Somebody got to be the bad guy. And, of course, that means that they watched the interview and Zio said he had footage. Well, Tani gave him permission, according to those people, to be able to post the footage, to take the footage in the first place. So it is what it is. I just didn't like how, in the whole statement, everything is written in normal font and they decide to put Krishan in capital letters. Like, what are you, mad? You mad? What you mad for? Hmm? 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 What you mad for? Why you put her name like that? You want to say someone on Krishan's team? That's fine, but why you had to put, why you had to put her name in caps? 
Snapchat isn't working because Bodine made a text talking about it was Rock's team that made his Snapchat. That's why it was about him and her. And it was going up because we was watching. So it's blue when he follows Krishan and, and baby Jesus. But it's Bodine when he unfollows him. That's not what I said. Don't twist my words. Don't twist my words. That's not what I said. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I don't think it does either. He's doing a podcast behind bars. Really? That's news. I didn't know that. I think Krishan was running his snap. I believe so too. And now she's not running it. And so that bag is running away. But she couldn't have been running his bag. She said the Snapchat team. She couldn't have been running his bag. Running his snap. Because she was incarcerated. Remember she was in jail. Not prison. People need to understand there's a difference between jail and prison. She was in jail and Snapchat was running and now it stopped. But she couldn't run Snapchat from jail. So I I don't know. I'm confusion on that one. I mean, maybe she brokered the deal for him, but I, I don't know. Um, and right after that statement, nothing has been posted since. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Blue probably made mad he can't get his way with Krishan about something. It's possible. People making a big deal about him unfollowing Sean and baby Jesus. But did any did anyone forget that Shauna followed him since she got back and didn't follow him even when he followed her and the baby? Correct. Correct. What you say about should? Suge Knight is doing the podcast, not Blue. He's not that smart. <laughs> Flatline. Beep. Why are you like this? <laughs> I thought Marsh said there's an automatic feature for Snap. I don't know. I don't know. He could have just unfollowed Krishan. Why is he dragging baby Jesus into the circus BS? How is he being dragged into the circus BS? Blue didn't do nothing uh, towards the baby. Oh, because he unfollowed him? It gets the people going. Honestly, I think she is tired of that. Uh, and that's probably why she ain't bothered to follow him back. We, we've only heard her pray for him. We, we, mm -hmm. It was other people... He might have been upset with nice looking tall glass of wine, had his arm around her because that was always his issue. He never allowed her to have men touch her. Wait, what you talking about, flossy mommy? Because I'm a little confused. I'm a little confusion right now. I mean, I feel you on that. But again, are we surprised? And let me tell you something. The reason I don't react the way most people are reacting to certain things that he does is because it's expected. Like, we should expect some of this stuff by now if we've been following long enough. I don't like that he plays with the baby. But I also, like, ignore the hell out of him because he has not pulled a new rabbit out of his hat. It's the same stuff over and over. He'll take down Jaden's pictures. But you, you want to say that he's playing with CJ. Now, let's be fair. If we're going to have a conversation about the children, okay? You want to say he's playing with baby Jesus by unfollowing him. Well, how about he plays with Javon and Journey, too? Because he'll put their pictures up and take their pictures down. So he plays with all his kids. He plays with both his baby mamas. And it's just really tiring. Like, leave your kids out of it. Well, you don't have to care about the other kids, but I talk about all of them and keep all of them on a level playing field because they are kids. But at the end of the day, if you're going to point out that he plays with one child, then you got to notice that he plays with both, with, with all three of them. So it is what it is. It's not him doing one thing and not doing it to the others. He does it to all of them. And I think it's just disgusting that he does. 
because the kids are not pawns in your little evil clout, you know, clout viewing or whatever. And the children have nothing to do with any of this that's going on. So me, I'm going to speak on all three when I'm talking about something being done to his children, him doing them to his children. Yeah, all of them get treated like that. Has he done baby Krishan Jesus worse than he's done uh, Javon and Journey? Yes, he has. But he's played with them all. They're like little toys to him. Because people get upset. Oh, he unfollowed Javon and Journey. Now this side of the fence is upset. Oh, he did this to Krishan, you know, and, and baby Jesus. And now people are upset. He goes between camps and he's allowed to because everybody wants to focus on their side of things instead of looking at the whole picture. None of these kids deserve that. None of them. You want to play with the women? Play with the women all day long. Play with the kids? No. And even playing with the women, I don't condone, but they're adults, right? So if he's going to run back and forth and they're going to allow it, then that's on them. I just say leave Krishan alone and keep her out of your chat because at the, not you as in people in here. I'm talking about you as in him. Keep her out your chat. She's on her purity right now. She's She's working on getting herself back right. And let's just talk about this for a second before we move on. Everyone wants to say that she's doing this for court. Oh, she's doing this because she got to go back to court on the 11th. Oh, she's playing with God because she's looking for clout. Krishan has always prayed. Remember, her and Ro Vicky got into it because her and Ro Vicky were praying with each other on FaceTime. Only for Ro Vicky to go and like some tweet that Blue tweeted to hurt Krishan. Where he was playing with her. So that was what their falling out was about. Ronnie said, Krishan has always been spiritual. So that's not an act. That's a fact. It's not an act. It's a fact. Blue is mad. Krishan is going up. Blue is mad that all these people are buzzing about her and he's not getting any of the attention. Nowhere in there is anybody talking about Blue. Even when she prays for Blue, it's not going viral that she played, prayed for Blue. So he's playing with her right now. That's Blue's M.O. When Jaden piss him off, guess what will happen? He'll unfollow. He'll take down her videos and then he'll go back to following Krishan and baby Jesus. And then when Krishan pick him, piss him off, he going to go over here. He going to unfollow her and follow Jaden and put Journey and Javon back up on his page. Like it's the same thing over and over and over again. And it it's just like next. <laughs> we're going next on this. We're going next on this one. Okay. Because this is what we're talking about. We're talking about how he put up this for people to hit him up, send pics and texts and all of that. And we're talking about the follows. And he followed everybody, including Wack 100, which I don't even understand why he's still dealing with Wackadoodle Doo. Because Oatmeal Face, he needs to disassociate himself with him. For real. Okay? For real. Anywho, let's go moving right along. So, Method Man sat down with, oh, no, 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 no. Let me go here. Because yesterday I posted a video about Safari being at Gag City. Well, it seems like Safari had a part two video. <laughs> Now, baby, 
y'all heard the peoples in the crowd saying f you safari day was not here for safari being there but what i wanted to take notice too because i know safari was the original barb okay he was a barb before the barb became what they became safari is a real barb because he's in there word for word Okay, word for word, singing and dancing to Nikki. Okay, hold on one second, because somebody's asking me to clarify his time. Blue has a release date of January 2026. However, comma, if Blue gets into a program, he can get out for good behavior some point in time, 2025. That's to my understanding, okay? Now, I can't tell you what he's going to do. I can't tell you how much good time he's going to get or gain time. I don't know what they call it in Cali. Because here in New York, we call it good time. Down in Florida, they call it gain time. So we don't know how that's going to work. But as of right now, He's listed as 2026, but if he does a program and he has good behavior, he could come home in 2025, which means that he would be placed on parole. He still has his probation that he's dealing with in Las Vegas as well. So, yeah. Now, yes, Safari is the original Ken doll. The original Barb. I think he is the originator of the Barbs, Okay. It's called Good Behavior in Florida. I mean, in Cali. Okay. Yes, I did see that he did a YouTube vlog about it, you know, and he was just saying in his YouTube, like, why can't I go to Gag City? I'm hearing all this stuff about Gag City. So why can't I go too? I'm going to go. So he went. But part of me also feels like it was for clout just a little bit. Okay. Kenny, did you see the interview with Hazel E? I saw a clip of it. I saw a clip of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. And the clip that I saw, she was admitting to doing Booger Sugar and says that she almost unalived twice or three times. I couldn't. I think it was twice uh, getting plastic surgery. Um, I also saw that Chastity did an interview. Henny Glass is in the chat if you watched the interview. Exactly keeping up with the Porter's clout for his show. Storyline for Love and Hip Hop. I think it's for his show. I'm not even going to hold you. I think it's for his show. Um, What's popping, Banga? Um, I think it's for his show, if anything. I did not watch Chastity's interview. I tried, but I didn't make it past like the first couple of minutes. I'm not going to hold you. Because I'm trying to understand... I don't know. Y'all want to watch that in members? We will watch that in members today. Trash bang is trash. I'm trying to understand like what was the purpose, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> um, okay, so moving right along from that. Let's get into this because it seems like celebrities are like speaking out about depression and mental health issues. And I'm really feeling this. Uh, Fat Joe sat down with Method Man and I might have to do some information on Method Man that y'all ain't going to like. I know I didn't like hearing it, but he sat down with Fat Joe and this is what he had to say about depression. You get a thought about, damn, I wonder what this person is doing. Act on it. Call him. Yeah, see how they doing. I'm gonna find some way to get in contact with them. It never hurts. You have no idea how much that could mean to them. Because, you know, I, I go through these bouts with certain shit. And, do, do you and, still go through that? Yeah. Do you it crush? never really goes away. It never really goes away. You have, like I said, I have bouts with it and things. And Dave saw that. And like, and he just sent me a text message. Beautiful text message. It's I love. Yeah. And it was like, he sp it spoke to me. Big time. And all I could put was... All of this with a heart emoji. And I don't even give heart emojis, son. But yeah. It felt good to notice somebody's thinking about you or your right. well being or your health. 
You know, I went through depression after my sister died, Putin died, my grandfather. I can only same imagine. Time. I can only imagine. So I was like two years straight going to therapists. And it could be a sunny day, the shit right. look dark outside. And what I try to tell people is... Was it an aggressive type of uh, depression? No, I went through it. Through yeah. It. Like, I never tried to kill myself. I never even thought about no, that. No, I mean aggressive towards the ones yeah, around I was, I was Nah, I was, was just sleeping. I was sleeping in the bathtub with no water running. Wow, out, yeah. Looking up yeah. at the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. And I went to a therapist and it took me two years uh, of beating myself up. And so I tell people, you could be in a gang, you could be in anything. Somebody trying to kill you, just move to another move to state. Another state, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And when you fighting your own brain, it's with you all the time. So you go to the island, you could be in the Fiji island with the bluest water, but you're still fighting that demon. You are, you are. But the illest one is when you do these displays as a, a cry for help and people... Some see it and just feel like it's a facade or I don't know how they take it, but there's a lot of times those people don't get help. I mean, in the bathtub, that's oh, no, definitely no, cry for help oh, right there. I was bad, yes, sir. man. Yes, sir. You so, want to just display at that point in time, this is what I'm feeling and this is what it feels like. So I think that that is a very important topic for people to talk about is depression, but also depression in men because... Men are taught to suppress their feelings. They're not taught to address their feelings. The way that we can express ourselves freely about what we're feeling. And that doesn't mean to be emotional. That just means to be able to talk about it. Men are taught to swallow that down, hold it, and, and just deal with it. Like if a man cries, they're told to man up. But why can't they cry? It's it's a natural human thing. And it's not about me trying to demasculate men. So before anybody tries to say that, that's not what that is about. It's about dealing with the fact that all of us as human beings, as people having our experiences in this life. OK, everybody carries some weight. Men go through depression bouts just like we do. But it's not the cool thing for them to speak about it, right? It, it's not acceptable for a man to sit back and talk about how they've had childhood traumas. Or it's not even a comfortable space for some men to talk about how they've been M-worded. Because it's, it's not masculine. It's frowned upon. But a lot of things go on in men's lives just like they go, in, go on in our lives. I'm not playing with you, Latrina. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious right now. I'm not going to say it. They have things that go on with them that they need a safe space to be able to talk to. Talk to whoever, a therapist, their 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 mate, uh, their circle that they deal with. Like They need to be able to express themselves. So I think that that was awesome that these two men who have made it to a level of success, right, are sitting back talking about how they're dealing with things just like everybody else does. So I thought that that was awesome. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, the information I have on meth has nothing to do with a freak off. OK, it has nothing to do with a freak party. No, none of that. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to do it. But I got some Henny. I got some Henny on our fave. Please don't hate me after y'all know I love me some M-E-T-H-O-D, man. But there's some stuff that's getting ready to blow, and I know, and I'm going to have to give y'all the info. It's not freak off stuff. It's nothing crazy like that, okay? Just know that. It's not freak off, and it's nothing crazy like that, but I, I will be giving y'all the henny. But before we go, let's tap in with Cardi B, because she was also speaking about dealing with some mental health things and, and how she's been handling it. Oh, Cardi, you keep going to the clubs, and ain't you supposed to be with your baby? Well, I've been with my baby all day. I be with my baby all day. I need to go out. I'm I'm going through a divorce right now. If I stay home and, and, and fucking depress myself, that's just gonna drive me crazy. That's why I'm working and the weekends I'm going out with my girls. So stop. I don't ever want to go through a fucking postpartum depression ever again, and I'm avoiding that. So yeah. Oh Cardi, oh Cardi, you keep going to the clubs and ain't you supposed to be with your baby? So Cardi. 
is also speaking about how she's going out to try to avoid slipping into a postpartum or slipping into a depression. Now, you have to remember, she just had a baby. She just had a baby and she's separating from her husband. And I know that if Cardi goes back, people are going to be like, oh, we knew she was going to go back. I don't know if she's really done with Offset for real this time or not. But what I will say is, Depression is real. She did say again, which means she did go through it. But you know what? She said that when somebody asked her, if y'all remember when Krishan had her baby and somebody asked her, what would she say to Krishan or say to a new mom? I believe she said Krishan specifically. And she talked about going through postpartum depression uh, just for a little, like a little quick snippet of it. But she's been through postpartum depression already. So she's trying to distract herself. So when we see her out in the clubs and we see her out at Fashion Week and we see her doing all of these things, this is her way of trying to not slip into a dark space. As a person, I think we got to stop looking at celebrities as these super mega people that don't go through anything because they have money. They Money does not matter when it comes to mental and affairs of the heart. You could be the richest person in the world and you still are going to go through things. A lot of people who have money go through depression. They go through these bouts because they don't know who's around them for real. They have problems just like we have problems. They may be able to pay all their bills and buy whatever it is that they want to buy and not have to budget and strategize like us regular people who work nine to five jobs do but they still go through things and I think that this is a great movement that I'm seeing starting to happen where men and women in the celebrity caliber are really being very boisterous especially in the black and brown communities about mental health and about things that they've gone through or they go through or they deal with because we don't see that often and I think it needs to be seen if we can make things trend let's trend that let's trend getting some type of mental health involved in our lives be it spiritual be it uh going down and sitting with a therapist let's make safe places for people to be able to speak because that's so very important you know Krishan went through postpartum depression when she was in the Walmart she came and she let us know like she's dealing with that she was fighting with it. And I don't know if I've ever had postpartum depression. I thought I just had like the baby blues after I had my, my, my daughter. But it may have been a small bout of postpartum, but a lot of women go through severe bouts of postpartum depression. And that could be very dangerous because some women have unalived their babies dealing with postpartum depression. You know what I'm saying? Now you add that to a divorce, a very public divorce, a divorce in a marriage where you've been consistently, consistently humiliated and put out there for public scrutiny. Put all of that together. Imagine being a celebrity being in the spotlight and having to always smile and put on a happy face because you can't let the public know that you're going through something. Man, I don't know. But now let's talk very briefly. Do I have it in this phone? Let's see if I have it. Because I'm not in, I'm not on my regular phone because I needed to talk to y'all freely. But let's talk about the video from last night that I did of Krishan handling her business. Krishan has her lawyer set in Cali. I've been looking and watching, looking at and watching those comments that people have been making down in the comment sections on Hennessy Reviews. And I just want to say this. First of all, in the recorded video, I did say that she pled guilty and I did go back and correct myself and say that she pled no contest. But here in America, pleading no contest to me is just 
like pleading guilty because you still suffer consequences. So yes, I got a little crossed up when I said that. I also did two recorded videos of that and I put the wrong one out, but it is what it is. It's there. Um, the point of the matter is regardless to whether the verbiage that is being used in this lawsuit is common practice for people to deny the allegations, it was really the affirmate, the affirmatives that they were putting out there for her defense. Those affirmatives were basically calling James out for being inconsistent with his stories. Those um, affirmatives were also speaking about how people around him have given different versions of the story as well. And so for me, like I said in the video, it's like this lawyer has done her homework and she sees what we've been seeing. Now, regardless of how you take a stance on that side, the facts still remain the facts and the facts are what we can see and prove, right? We have not seen any proof of her actually hauling off and punching him in the face. We haven't seen that. Um, according to what they're saying in that lawsuit, what her lawyer is responding to, there is no proof of him going to a hospital. There is no proof of injury. So you were at the dentist. Were you there because your tooth was chipped and you were getting it fixed because of this incident, allegedly? Or were you there to get just a regular cleaning? Like, what were you there for? Why is her lawyer saying that they haven't seen any evidence, basically? Because that's what I got from reading that whole document. Because, yes, I read the whole freaking document for myself. I had to because I wasn't going to read it live. And once I saw that it was very repetitive in what things were saying, um, what was being said, in there, I didn't feel the need to go through it line for line, word for word for each and every line because we'd have still been there right now doing that video. At the end of the day, I played the goddaughter's video because the goddaughter said that his face was fine. There was nothing wrong with him and he had normal teeth like you and I. So that type of a comment right there is a contradiction to what he's been saying. People have been also saying that James has never said anything. Yes, he did. He said something the night it happened. He may not have went into detail, but he kept saying, if y'all see my face. Then he went to the dentist. He made a statement while he was at the dentist office. Then he turned around and he did an interview. And his daughters, his goddaughters said something. And Tamar said something. And, and Latroy said something. And, and Rob said something. And the dancer slash singer slash, uh, makeup artist said something. All of these people have spoken out. Then you've got the police report that says one thing that doesn't line up with everything that was said. Then you've got the court docs that say something else. Some things have been changed around. And let me tell you something from experience. When you go into a court of law and you give a statement, that statement better match what you said at the police department or to the police in the police report. That statement better match whatever you've said out loud. That statement better match because baby, I want a case based off of a story changing. So while a lot of people are out here and they want to see, oh, she needs to be held accountable. Oh, she needs to go back to jail. My question to y'all is why are y'all so pressed for her to be sitting up in jail? Why are y'all so pressed to say that she needs to suffer consequences of her actions and take accountability? Don't you think that maybe this girl has learned some harsh lessons in that little bit of time that she was away because she was away from her child? What kind of world do we live in where people want to see a young mother pulled away from her child and news flash to everyone. You do not go to jail for a civil case. Okay. She was not sitting in a California jail. And I have been saying this for the longest time, but I know people keep saying the wrong ish and people are running with it. Just like everyone keeps saying a thousand bottles of baby oil. And it's not, it's a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube. Krishan's civil case is the James Wright versus Krishan Malone case. The criminal case is the state of California versus Krishan Malone. They are not the same case. However, the criminal charges were based off of the um, allegations in the civil suit.
The state picked up charges from the civil suit. So the civil suit itself is not what had her sitting in California for those 30 days. It is the criminal case, the charges that were picked up from that case, which makes it separate. Because if it was James Wright versus Krishan Malone, it would say that. It is the state of California versus Krishan Malone which had her sitting for 30 days and got her one year probation behind that. This civil case is James versus Krishan. Please guys always remember that because there's a lot of people that are out here saying the wrong stuff when it comes down to these cases and confusing the two. So can she sue California because there is no device the state can present evidence? Um, if she's falsely accused, yes. And is it the only reason the state picked it up was because the police were called? So because the police were called, that's why the state picked it up? Yes. Yes. If he would have just went into court and filed this suit on his own, that wouldn't have happened. But he called the police and made a police report. Now, when the police report was made, I know the document says one thing, but we ain't see no police report until months later. But I'm going to leave it alone. She could counter sue him. But let's see how Monica is going to handle this. I like Monica because Monica could have been one of those lawyers that are going in there saying, let's just settle. So that's why I'm excited because this lawyer is not saying, let's settle. This lawyer is saying, no, we're going to fight this. Yes, lying on a police report is falsifying a document. You can be charged, you can go to jail for that, and you can be fined for it as well. Let me see what you're saying. Civil and criminal are different. In criminal, Krishan has to prove her case. In civil, James has to prove his case. Exactly. James has the burden of proof in this civil case. And thus far, it's sounding to me like he has not presented the burden of proof that is needed. He was also trying to hurry up and get this case settled while she was locked up in Click Click City. That's why he was asking for a default judgment. That ain't happen. And it ain't gonna happen. So, that's that on that. But anywho, I will be uploading this video to Straight Henny Media. We will be doing these because I like doing these with y'all. And these will consist of what we've talked about or what we've posted on Straight Henny Media. We will then talk about the next morning. And I hope y'all are enjoying this. And yes, we're going to go live on Hennessy Reviews today. What we're going to talk about, I don't know. Because I have the Diddy transcripts that tell you every detail as to why his bail got revoked. And I kind of want to do that because he has court coming up on the night which is Tamara. So let's refresh ourselves, shall we? And I'll probably come back with some more information. Remember, Henny's off today. So Henny is going to be on the prowl and on the move. But y'all know what I always say, high vibes see y'all day. Remember to vibe high so that the bullshit don't stick. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, y'all.